Hi guys, it's Sam of Zastava and Yugo Cars, and this is my 1989 Yugo 55A, one of 386 cars sold here in New Zealand, and the only road legal Yugo 55A remaining. There are as many as a 745 models on the road, uh, give and take, but yeah, this is probably the only 55 that I know of. And I think it's the only 1989 model as well, being one of the last sold here in New Zealand. I'm just going to give you guys a quick walk around of the car, show you under the bonnet, the inside started up, etc. It was first registered here in January 1990 and has 77,000 original kilometres. I am the third owner and have owned it since 2014, August, thereabouts. The car was first registered in 2018 in my ownership. Um, I bought the car deregistered. Um, the main things that it really needed was rust work. Uh, and areas like around here in the back vent window, um, all that was rusted out. Uh, bottom of the driver's door was also rusted out. But um, since the registration had lapsed, I basically thought that I might as well do a full restoration of the car. Um, most of the paint is actually original, it's just been polished up. Um, some sections like the driver's door have been done, uh, the bonnet, the rear hatch. Um, the wheels have also been painted, uh, original centre caps. I'm just going to come inside the car now. So this is the interior. I'm just going to start the car up for you guys. So you've just got basic instrumentation, you've got temperature, fuel, speedometer, um, you don't have a tack or a trip meter, um, you've just got your basic warning lights here, um, got indicators, uh, high beam, if you can see that you've also got a rear fog light, um, headlights as well, you've got all your main switches over here. Uh, you've got rear defroster, uh, ventilation for the cabin. Uh, you've got your hazard lights over here. And we've also got back wiper. That is meant to have a washer, but unfortunately that's not working at the moment. Uh, we've also got the original Phillips head unit. So we'll see if I can turn that on for you guys. Sony speakers in the back um, and I replaced the original Awa ones not long after I got the car. Uh, it's got a four speed manual transmission. Uh, at motorway speeds it would probably be better to have a fifth gear but um, it does a hundred okay-ish. Um, revs are probably a little high but um, it's alright. Um, stuff like the upholstery is actually very good on this car. Um, the original owner was elderly and she had um, sheepskin seat covers. Um, door panels were painted, uh, window winders were replaced, the driver's one had snapped doors so were right around there, so um, got that replaced. Because uh, this is a budget Eastern Block car, it actually doesn't have a mirror on the passenger side, which I actually find you don't need because you've got plenty of good visibility all round. Just going to pop the bonnet for you guys so we can have a look in there. So this is the 1.1 litre 55 horsepower unit, as I say 77,000 original kilometres, 
I've done a few things like painted the air filter housing, uh, painted the oil cap, uh, I've done the cam belt as these have to be done every 30,000 miles. Um, Yugo's unfortunately developed quite a bad reputation in America as um, they were so cheap and most owners viewed them as a throwaway car. Uh, simple maintenance such as cam belt changes were not performed and because this is an interference engine the cam belt would snap and uh, the engine was toast basically. You've got your full size spare tyre, um, obviously because there's no room in the back but um, I guess that's the car's crumble zone you'd say. But yeah, just basic restoration work to kind of get it up to scratch. It's got a um, brand new water pump, um, new thermostat, rebuilt the alternator and the carb. Um, but yeah, it's been fairly reliable apart from adjusting the clutch cable a couple of times. Carrying on with the interior, you've also got lights um, above the doors. Uh, you've got grab handles as well. Got grab handles as well. Also got a mirror for the passenger. But um, I'm fairly happy in terms of the seats. They're in very good condition. And you've got right on the side of the seat here. You lift the whole seat up like so to get into the back seat. Um, probably not heaps of headroom if you're over about six foot and I'm about six foot four so it's definitely um, not the best but I find up the front you've actually got plenty of room um, for the size of the car it's really not all that bad and if you'd like to see more about this car please go and visit my Instagram the New Zealand Hugo uh, for more updates um, I mean the car's pretty tidy but there's always things I'll be sort of looking to do and improve um, and tinker with it so it um, definitely keeps me busy but at the moment I'd say it's pretty good mechanically there's just the odd cosmetic thing but um, I sometimes daily drive this and it's actually very reliable um, I don't really know where this whole world's worst car sort of stigma came from but I really don't see it I think it's not, you know, it's not a Lamborghini, it's not a brand new car, it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be really, really reliable and not give you problems, because, I mean, look, it's 30 years old now, but for what it is, it's a very, very good car. Um, I have no complaints, and I also love driving this thing. You know, people always look at it, and if they don't know what it is, they'll love to have a talk to you, and if they do know what it is, they'll want to talk to you even more, because they're so surprised to see it on the road, I guess. Um, I'd also like you guys to have a look at the Hubnut channel on YouTube. He did a review of the car in December last year. I'm just going to turn it off and show you guys the boot. Oh, also, before I do that, you've just got your basic horn button here. Mm -hmm. uh, you got your wipers, it's two speed. Uh, at the moment, unfortunately, I can't get the washer to work. Um, Hugo, I guess, that needs to be replaced. Just going to show the boot. So space back here isn't too bad. You've just got a basic parcel shelf. Lift that up. So your boot room isn't too bad. You've got your um, washer reservoir for the um, back window there and your pump. And you've also got a factory tool kit over here which stores away but um yeah it's not too bad okay so this is basically it um i've had this channel now for about three or four years but i've never done a proper video on this car and it's um you know this is why i love you guys this car i mean i got it when i was only 14 years old um I was just really, really interested in this car. I'd never originally heard of it, and um, this car was quite local to me, and I'd always seen it growing up, and I saw it driving around, and I just loved it. So when it came up on um, 
uh, New Zealand option site trade me and it was only $500 um, yeah I just had to have it and it's been about six and a half years now but um, yeah definitely love this car that's for sure I'll be posting a few more videos on this car in the future and other Yugos worldwide hopefully I'm trying to develop the channel as much as I can um, but please bear with me as I try to get this sort of going as I'm trying to sort of toss up with video ideas and things like that.